Last episode, all of the panel was hung in the forward half. Hatches were mounted and latch dogs. Steps for the swim platform were welded on. The large rudder is now in place. And Gina started on the hydraulics while I started on the cockpit steering station, which is the first thing I'm doing this episode. Once it was decided what design of binnacle to use, I anxiously set to work on the project. At first it was just a matter of welding all the pieces together. While I was welding stainless, I made a dorade rain catcher thingy for one of those fancy vents. Before the stanchions could be mounted, a radar arch must be built as this is what they attach to. Now the bow needs a pulpit. I'd rather call it a bow sprit. Bending some pipe like the radar arch is in order. Gina has been working on the exhaust system. We decided on a dry exhaust, which means it will be above the water line when the boat is sitting flat. Nothing else needs to be welded onto the boat, so it's time to paint. Now there's no reason why we can't put in the windows and port lights now the boat is painted. A project for the radar arch is, well, to figure out how to mount a radar. I have thought of some different ways, but the method I chose shows I'm not yet an engineer. And I say I, because Gina doesn't want to be implicated in this screw-up in any way. <laughs> With all this wire run, it seems a shame not to have any power to connect them to. The breakers are like a housebreaker, sorta, and can be turned off by pressing the button. To make it strong, the steps will butt into a routed hole. Then they will be screwed from the ends. In the extended final episode, there will be more woodwork, wiring, plumbing, getting sails, and a mast, then a haul out to the coast for her shakedown cruise. Until then, I'm Sandra Sims, bidding you fair winds and farewell.